So the last secret site visit that I went on was to a place called Grimm's Pound on Dartmoor. It's a large circle of stones and old wall and inside it are 24 hut circles, although the, the, the remains are stones as well. It's not a very long walk from the road, it's quite a pleasant walk. On the drive there we were absolutely astounded to see a swathe of blue across the hillside. My partner said to me, is that Heather? And I thought, no, it doesn't look like Heather. And then a friend who was with us guessed it might be flax, perhaps because of the brightness of the blue. But the nearer we got, we could see that it was actually bluebells, which, is, which was astounding to all of us because all of us believed that bluebells grew on the forest floor, you know, in half shade or dappled shade. So it was like oh, some kind of mystical miracle to see them like that. And it felt like we were, you know, we were definitely going to a magical place. Um, so entering Grimm's Pound, the rocks are incredibly lichen-y. They're very old, you know, most of the wall has fallen down. The first thing that I did when I entered was went into one of the houses. The wind was very, very big. <laughs> very big wind and um, there was there was that kind of really light rain but when it's windy it gets all in your clothes so we all wanted a little bit of shelter and each of us went to there were four of us together and each of us went to various different places within the space and I went into a house and my feeling when I got there was really grumpy. I felt really grumpy. And I felt that feeling, I don't know if you've ever had it yourself, where um, all the people around you, you feel alienated from everyone. And it makes you feel really inward and quite sour. So I had a real sense of sourness. Like the person who'd lived there had been quite grumpy, uh, generally. But then something had happened within the community that meant that, um, you know, something had really annoyed them, basically. So I sat there for a while thinking, oh, I hope this isn't me. I hope I'm not developing this feeling today. Nothing has annoyed me. Everything seemed very beautiful on the way here. So then I went to a different house and uh, I had a completely different feeling in that house. I had a much sweeter feeling as if someone quite kind and thoughtful had lived there. Someone with a lot of compassion. I thought, well, this is interesting. So I moved to the different spaces um, there was another two houses that seemed so close together that they could almost have been joined together. There was the house that my partner decided to sit down in, which was the one that was still standing the most strong. I mean, that these walls are only, you know, about the height of my hip, and I'm five foot three. So they're quite low. But this one, something about the walls had been built stronger. It was it was slightly raised up on the land. The land was slightly raised up around it. And it had quite a different feel because it had um, a sort of entrance way, uh, like you might imagine where you would put your muddy boots or something. You know, so it's, in that sense, it was, it was quite organised in a way. And I didn't go to every 24 of the houses, but each house definitely had a very different feeling to it. Um, then I went up to the gateway. There were two ways in to Grimm's Pound. One is really big stones placed as almost like a, like a showy sort of entrance, you know, like this is this is the entry to our village. And the other one was, was all stoned on the ground, so it implied that maybe animals came in that way. They wanted it to be a place where... You know, it wasn't all torn up mud. I don't know if they had carts or... And that place had a very small little um, stones around it, as if there had maybe been a wall there or some kind of enclosure around that space. Now, as is very often the case for me, I, I visit places and I get a lot of feelings and I write things in my notebook and I take moulds from the rocks. Then sometimes I don't really understand my experience of a place. Till I come home again. So this weekend, um, a couple of friends had come to visit, and I'd been having a conversation with Rihanna. And 
we had been talking about having a circle. It's a shamanic tradition that I hadn't heard of, where you have a particular animal in each cardinal point, and you can have up to 12 or maybe more animals all in a circle around you, and you go on a journey to find these animals. So circle, having a circle of things around you had come up in our conversation, and we'd also been talking about you know, self-development and um, being a better human and how we can be better in relationships and things like that had all come out in our conversation. She also had a tarot deck that she thought she might like to give away and she offered it to me. It wasn't a tarot deck that appealed to me, but I did draw a card from it and the card I drew was circle and it was a circle with animals all around it, which seemed quite poignant after our conversation. And then on visiting Grooms Pound, which was a circle, and all the houses inside were circles. It was definitely a repeated circle theme going on. <clears throat> and we went to visit a few other sites on Dartmoor whilst they were there, because they're wonderful photographers and they wanted to take lots of photographs. Um, and we stopped at a pub for a nice English cream tea. And it started to flood into me this kind of understanding of what a circle is. A circle is the enclosed space of a community. And that's what the animals all around you are. If you have that kind of shamanic circle, a circle represents a community. And, and the work that you have to do when you're part of a community, you know, the way there are different characters within that space and the way that they used to live. So we're enclosed nowadays, we can move. You know, if you don't like something, or you don't like someone, or you don't like a place, quite often we move, and we move very far. But the people were a lot more stationary then, and you kind of had to try and get along with the people in your space. And so Grimm's Pound has come very much for me, um, a kind of understanding of community, and the alchemy of commu community, and the way that different characters matter, and bring different things. So I'll ruminate a little bit more on that um, and I'll no doubt make pieces from the moulds and then sit with the pieces and see what they bring for me. Um, but visiting Grimm's Pound wasn't one of those, bam, I've had a massive experience as it was when I visited St Nectans, again it was very powerful. Um, I think there's a little bit more thinking to do on it but yeah, it was, it's definitely a site worth visiting because it's so humble in a way and so basically human and it's not got, you know, a stone circle or a stone row or all those kinds of ritual things going on. So I'd highly recommend the visit if you get the chance, but watch this space for moulds, pieces made from the moulds. <laughs>